oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Time is 1800 Eastern Daylight Time. Transmission commencing. Okay, I originally intended to post this last night, but AT&T, those mongrel idiots, decided to cut off our service randomly, and it didn't get back internet until just a couple hours ago, and so here we are now. Okay, first of all, response to my last blog. Um, got a comment from Witchy Bunny. She says, "Back, right, back, bright backlight is bright." Okay, seriously, babe, do you need me to buy you a mic? I will, and cool info on eclipses. Okay, thank you for the comment there, Bunny. Um, the bright backlight back here is actually the sun. Yes, the sun is that bright. Hmm. And I'm still working with this whole mic thing here. Um. So, today I'm trying one of my solutions, which is sitting a little bit farther away from the mic, as you can see. Um, I might just, like, put a little tape over the microphone itself so I can muffle the sound a bit. And hopefully this will not cause sound quality to max out that much. So we'll see. And yes, eclipses are pretty cool. Okay, so, today is a very exciting day. Today is the opening day for the 2008 Olympics, the 29th Summer Olympics, being held in Beijing, China. Um, I'm very excited, of course, because it is, it's the Olympics, so yes, very exciting. I will, of course, be supporting my men and women from the United States and their, um, pursuit of the gold medals. Um, should be a pretty tight race this year for the overall medal count and the gold medal count between the United States and China, because USA has a lot of athletes like Kobe Bryant and Michael Phelps and LeBron James, and China has Yao Ming and, um... That's all I can think of. I feel like an idiot now. I only know one Chinese athlete. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, so the um, the opening ceremonies began at 8.0808 .08 on 8.0808 .08 at Chinese time. Apparently China has some sort of fixation with, with the uh, number 8, like I do. Like, um, behold the Magic 8 Ball. Look at that. It's nice and shiny. Hmm. Will Americans win um, the gold this year? but I think it says it's decidedly so. So, it's a good sign, I guess. Um, anyway, so, it started at 8, 08, 08, 08, um, p.m. Chinese time. Um, China runs on a single time zone, so you don't have to worry about any other discrepancies in the journey games. And the game is officially declared open at 11.04. Um, the opening ceremony, from what I saw from videos, looks pretty badass. I mean, a lot of fireworks and... Stuff like that, really extravagant. Um, the way to look at the the, the, um, the college itself looks like it looks pretty cool. And also, I think um, the Phoenix was featured somewhere in there. So, Phoenix Pride, yeah. Anyway, so um, now China time is is exactly 12 hours ahead of U.S. Eastern. So the games really began at the opening ceremony began at 8 a.m. at 8:08 a.m. here. In the United States, Eastern Daylight Time, and the games were declared open at 11:04 Eastern Daylight Time. So they've been open um, uh, for almost um, for almost about um, six hours now. It looks like for almost like um, five, or six or seven hours now they've been open. So yes, um, like always, NBC will be doing a live to tape broadcast. So. The opening ceremonies will be aired tonight at NBC at 19.30. That's um, 7.30 p.m. for those of you that aren't on a 24-hour um, clock. Um, Eastern Daylight Time, of course. However, the Canadian Broadcasting Company will be providing um, live coverage of the Olympics and real-time events like as they happen. They're not doing live tape, they're doing like, live as they happen. For those of you in the Metro Detroit area, um, if you tune into CBC Windsor 9, you will be able to watch um, the Olympics live. So, okay, so I'm looking forward to these Olympics, um, because I only come every four years. I'm actually coming every two years, but let's go with tradition here. Um, yes, it should be a really fun couple of weeks or so, and it's really great to see um, all these people come around the world and compete in these events. Now, with that in mind, I am concerned that something is going to happen to these Olympics. I'm not very nice. The um, Olympics are supposed to be... Um, a public relations boost for the country, for the host country, and one was desperately needed for um, China, specifically its communist government. And so far, it's been almost virtually the opposite. Um, first of all, the the torch relay in itself was pretty much a PR disaster for China. 
Um, first of all, you have the whole protest from the Free Tibet movement and the fact that China supports the genocide in Darfur. No explanations needed there. Also, you have your environmental environmental issues like the smog in Beijing and the algae in the sea. They're all looking at the algae, but they're still working on the smog, I think. Also, the various human rights issues in China, like um, internet censorship, that has not um, provoked a positive reaction from the most of the, from the international community at large. And um, wow, this book is really working. This book is dark here. Anyway, so um, and. A terrorist cell has threatened to attack the games. Um, it's a pretty obscure cell. Let's see if I can find the uh, name here. Um, there's report. Oh, by the way, for, for a quick news update here, um, John Edwards has admitted he had an affair with someone and looks like Russia is about to go to war with Georgia, the country, not the state. Okay, so let's see here. Um, there's another photo of the um, ceremonies. A lot of photos are opening ceremonies. They look really good here. Um... Let's see if I can find it here. Mm. Okay, I found your report, so I'll try Fox News here for a second. Um, again here, um, this terrorist cell has threatened um, the games. Because um, apparently they feel that um, China's crackdown on human rights and forced people to accept atheism and the birth control program is warrants for jihad. So I can't find the name of the terrorist cell. I'll probably um, find out whatever it is eventually, but I know it's an obscure cell I haven't heard of before. So with this in mind, um, I would say this up front. I do not support the government of China at all because they are a communist regime and I do, not I do not support communism in any way, shape, or form. I do not like the fact that China is aiding the genocide in Darfur. I think the country should be ashamed of itself for doing such a thing. Um, I cannot be more sympathetic with the people who want to free Tibet. And I think the people running China are pinheads. However, I also think that the people using the Olympics to make a political statement are also pinheads. The Olympics is not about politics, or prejudice, or censorship, or war, or whatever. It's about people coming together for this, in the spirit of unity, and sportsmanship, and fellowship, and having this friendly competition to see who's the best. That's what it's all about. And to use it as a polit for political gain is just such a perversion of the Olympic spirit that it makes me sick. So, my fear is that, of course, something's going to happen at, Olympics, at the Olympics. Of course, China's taking these threats ser threat seriously. They have about 100,000 guards there. I hope nothing does happen, but if something does happen, hopefully it won't be major, like probably be on the scale of like, the Olympic Park bombing at the um, Games in Atlanta in 1996. My worst fear is that something will happen on the scale of Munich. And I don't expect that to happen, but I know that something on the scale of Munich is not entirely impossible either. So we shall see here. Okay, we're running out of time here on um, what to watch. Again, the opening ceremonies will be broadcast um, on NBC at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Um, the events will start tomorrow. And a um, quick shout-out now to um, the athletes there. Um, first of all, Team USA. Good luck, guys and girls. Let's kick some butt and bring home the gold. Also, my best of luck goes out to all the athletes participating in the Olympics. May you all do your countries proud, and may you all give it, the best, give it your best shot. And have fun. That's the most important thing about these Olympics. Have fun. Alright, that's just about do it. Um, Extra Delta 1 at 18.09 Eastern Daylight Time. So it's officially concluded and... Let's begin.